This is a prime example not to start fire in dry weather. Fire was started over that land, cutting it down, sure. Because the land was bushy, had a lot of grass, mm -hmm. a lot of stuff going on over there. A young man got the job to clean down the land. But what happened, he started a fire. The fire spread all over the place, including over here at um, Mr. Shields' home, where it affect their coconut tree, their palm trees, a lot of their palm trees up the top there also. And now we have this disaster going on. The man was told to keep the, um, control the fire, but he, he thought the fire could not climb walls. So what eventually happened, the fire did came over the walls because a lot of bush and, and, and stuff is on the wall. So it just climb right over by burning those bush coming over the other side. In the backyard of someone down there, you can see the firefighters are down there. And um, thank God for Jamaican firefighters because if they did not respond in such a timely manner, people will be losing their houses at this time. So as we can see, they're doing a great, awesome job because the fire was creeping right down, right into people's yard and, and spreading over here. But as usual, you have some Jamaican that doesn't listen. And this is one of those prime examples of that not listening to others telling him to control the fire because the fire is getting out of control because we haven't had any rain in mandeville for such a long time so everything is dry any little fly, fire you start right now will goes into something big and that's what we're having right now so news carrier reporting from mandeville for now and this is it do not start a fire in dry weather this is a prime example of that